I'm Chief Deputy Dunn. I am Los Federales Santos Jr. You're watching Cheap Shot Entertainment. Sounds a bit too much fun, right? No fun, nada. No fun, nada. Hello and welcome once again to Cheap Shot Entertainment. This is your wrestling friend review of everything that happened at Hope Evolution number 84. It is entitled See You on the Kip Side, as it would be Kip Sabian's last appearance at the Forest Town Arena before he shoots off to America to go and work for the other big company over there, the gold and white company known as AEW, has been picked up over there. Really pleased for Kip Sabian, he's really, really good, really sound guy as well, good in the ring, and just a consummate professional and a really good entertainer. Speaking of entertaining, if you find this video entertaining, you can join us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook to see when we upload everything and how to keep up with what we're doing as well. I'm thinking about doing an interactive map of all the wrestling shows that I've been to as well, which I think would be pretty damn cool. So I've got to try and set that up in some way, shape or form, and I've got an idea of how to do it. So that's good. Anyway, like I say, this is everything that happened at Hope Evolution number 84. And without further ado, we're going to take you through all of that. I am your host Luke and you are the Cheap Shot Nation. So join us for the review of Hope Evolution. So the first match to take place at Hope Evolution 84 at the Forest Town Arena in Forest Town Mansfield on the 19th of April 2019 would be uh, a, a newcomer, a debut of sorts, for me at least anyway, um, it would be Tommy Kyle, uh, the captain of the Kyle High Club. He comes out dressed as a, uh, an aeroplane captain. Um, yeah, it was good, it was good, but Jake McCluskey was his, uh, was his opponent for the night and Jake McCluskey is just cool man he's really really good love jake mccluskey good to see him back in a hope wrestling ring and this match didn't disappoint always difficult to go on for the first match crowd took a little bit of warming up and that's just just to say i mean it was a really warm night it was a really warm room as well that probably made a lot of people sleepy and less likely to chant and cheer and and clap and things but we got things going i uh, i i pride myself in trying to get things going so uh, i managed to do that i was out without my partner in crime Zena. um she was in london and tj and martin and uh, but I, I was there with lee and with josh as well so told josh i would mention him so there you are Josh, I've mentioned you on the video. Anyway, uh, like I say, Jake McCluskey versus Tommy Kyle. Um, very high flying match actually, to say that Kyle is the captain of the Kyle High Club. Um, Jake McCluskey's always good, good high flying moves. Very technically sound as well as Jake McCluskey. And he has a great character. When I first saw Jake McCluskey, he was a heel. He had quite a bit of hair. He shaved that off, became face, and he's... I like him. He's good. He's a good, good wrestler. And if you're watching this as a promotion, hire Jake McCluskey, because he's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Anyway, Jake McCluskey would come out as your winner in this match uh, after a good showing from Tommy Kyle. Uh, want to see more of him in Hope Wrestling in the future. He's running knee to the side of the head uh, after 
uh, a lot of jockeying for position towards the third part of this match uh, with both guys putting in a lot of offence and a lot of time to entertain the Mansfield Forest Town crowd. Like I say, knee to the side of the head, running knee. Jay McCluskey would pick up the victory. One, two, three, hashtag pin for the win. Your winner in this first match is Jake McCluskey. And we next get to see some hardcore action in Hope Wrestling. It is for the hardcore championships, not that kind of hardcore action, you dirty minded people. We're a family show, we're on YouTube, and we don't want the copyright strikes. Thank you very much. It is hardcore champion Alexander Hyde versus Warren Banks comes out in slightly different attire, comes out ready to fight, he's got the war paint, he's got the combats on, he's ready to go. Both guys start in the middle of the ring with a chair each, we get a sort of Star Wars lightsaber kind of thing and they're both smashing the chairs against each other, good way to start the match. Warren Banks and Alexander Hyde eventually fight outside of the ring where Warren Banks picks up something from the announce table. And incidentally, there's no announcers in this show because there was no cameras. And I'll say this, uh, Hope Wrestling, if you ever need a camera, just let me know and I'll bring my camera with me and we can film it there. Um, but yeah, that's just me offering my my camera, my services to Hope Wrestling, the company that I absolutely adore and the company that got us to do this channel in the first place. Um, so it would be a new champion after some fighting outside of the ring, not completely hardcore, although I do have a little something for Alexander Hyde after his uh, extreme actions in the ring. He basically, instead of thumbtacks, bought mini eggs to the championship match. Yes, it was that egg stream that we had rock hard mini eggs. Incidentally, he told us a little story um, that uh, he decided that when he was traveling with Chief Deputy Doug, who did the uh, awesome intro for us on this video. So thank you very much, Chief Deputy Dunn and Los Santos Federales Jr. for that. Um, he left his mini eggs in his suitcase as he was traveling and he was like, no, 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 they're gonna melt. So Chief Deputy Dunn being the savior of the no fun, no fun, no, nah. it'd be no fun if they melted offered to put them in his little cooler thing so he did so when he got uh, body slammed onto these mini eggs they were rock solid um, so yeah no thumbtacks mini eggs and i would say they're probably comparable to landing on lego um, quite possibly uh, i've never stepped on one i've never been slammed on one i don't want to be um because it looks horrid but that's how extreme this match was it would be that that eventually killed uh, not literally alexander hyde's momentum in this match as warren banks slammed down uh, alexander hyde onto the mini eggs uh, like a, a Mishinoku driver onto the mini eggs and hit a spear for the win. We have a new hardcore champion in Mr. Warren Banks. He's your new champion. Alexander Hyde uh, is no longer the champion, but it is 24 7 rules, so you can win it back at any time. Incidentally, Alexander Hyde would eat a lot of the mini eggs that were in the ring. Uh, to gain some of his power back, but it didn't do any good. Your winner was still Warren Banks. Your next match is a tag team match, and it's scheduled for one fall. One fall. It is J or T T K Cooper, I think. Yeah, it was uh, T K Cooper and Chuck Mumbo. I didn't quite catch the tag team name, so feel free 
to put those in the comments uh, versus the anti-fun police of Chief Deputy Dunn and Los Federales Santos Jr. Los Santos Federales Jr. however you say it brilliant match so entertaining from start to finish I want to see more of the full anti-fun police we've seen a lot of chief deputy Don. he is brilliant he got me to buy his t-shirt incidentally i meant to wear that for this video so uh, when it comes to doing the sign off i will wear it just to show you that i have one of your t-shirts i'm going to turn it into a vest i think because it's a bit big for me now um, but yeah a uh, brilliant match absolutely fantastic comedy um really good wrestling as well chuck mambo is always good in the ring uh, tk cooper was fantastic as well first time i've seen him uh, very much a samoan de descent and he definitely had that in the ring of course los santos jr is from south of the border and uh, chief deputy Dunn, so we're and chief deputy Dunn is irish uh, not that, that makes any difference but we you know this match right here and it was brilliant i enjoyed this match so much it it would probably get not even probably it would get my match of the night um, the, this tag team match was absolutely fantastic I'd love to see it happen again um, really really good so much fun had in this match um, we've got to see uh, Los Santos try and do a kip up three times um, <laughs> and then he gave up uh, got lots of uh, action in the ring as well and the finish was absolutely fantastic. Um, it would be TK Cooper and uh, Chuck Mambo being on top uh, would try a top rope dive. It would be Lars Federales Jr. who would stop Chuck Mambo hitting that move, catching Chuck Mambo in the big ending from the dive off the top rope. Very, very cool move indeed and uh, Chief Deputy Dunn would finish off Chuck Mambo and get the roll up for the win. Your winners are the Anti-Fun Police. No fun! Although they did have fun doing the intro video for this video. So thank you very much boys. Um, really, really good of you. Really enjoyed your intro to the video. Definitely one of the best, if not the best, that I've had from a wrestler or a set of wrestlers. Uh, close second to having Jade and uh, Nightshade do a video for me for a different video. Uh, but very, very close, very close. We next get to see an ex WWE wrestler in Rene Dupree. He's very much a a regular on Hope Wrestling now. Uh, really, really cool to see ex WWE walking past us with glasses of water, having a bit of a chat with him and stuff. Really cool guy as well. Um, incidentally, my mate, my mate Lee asked him where his poodle was. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he was going against Car and uh, the uh, the the Black Swan. Of course, he's just had a signet, so. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I want to say well done for that and congratulations to you and your fawn for that uh, great news. I uh, hope, you've enjoyed, hope you're enjoying fatherhood um, in, uh, in what it is, for what it is. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, anyway, it's Cara Noir versus Rene Dupree. Um, great match. Incidentally, um, Rene Dupree pretty much controlled this match. There was a lot of jockeying for position to start the match. Uh, it would break down with uh, Rene Dupree going on the outside, almost getting counted out, then reversing it. Cara Noir would be on the outside. He held the, held the ropes open for Rene Dupree. Rene Dupree did the same thing, but then as Cara was coming in, attacked Cara Noir which caused the crowd to get on the back of Rene Dupree in this match and get fully behind Cara. Cara would get a little bit of offense in throughout the match but not 
loads and loads like we've come to expect but everything was high impact it would be René Dupree who would pick up the victory after a pretty dominant display over the Black Swan, the former Hope Wrestling Champion. Uh, the man who unified the Hope Wrestling Championship and the Leicester Championship Wrestling titles into one. Um, René Dupree would win with a package pile driver and a big splash from the top rope to get the win. Incidentally, after the match, it would be Car Noir who would be carried out of the ring. Um, I can only think that it might have been a little bit of an injury from the uh, package pile driver. I've not looked so far. Some people have said that it was a knee injury. Uh, from doing something but Cara Noir, I hope you get better soon um, and get back to Mansfield as soon as you possibly can uh, so yeah that match was really good and it was your first half main event uh, for Hope Wrestling Evolution 84 see you on the kip side we now go into the second half of see you on the kip side and it starts again with a championship match for the kings of flight championship it is the absolute legend danny chase versus diamond dave andrews otherwise known as dda um, these two used to be a tag team uh, aquas uh, not aqua squad awesome that's my swim team name for the swimathon it is battle squad awesome battle squad awesome and uh, that's what they used to be danny chase turned on dda after they held the tag team championships for a week and as dda picked up the kings of flight championship riding on a high the very next defense of his championship would be against his former best friend in the absolute legend danny chase danny chase would then go on to take that championship away from dda and this continue to help hold that championship very high above his head as he continues to carry that championship because he would come out the eventual winner was through dirty rotten means at uh, one point uh, dda was in complete control he was in control pretty much from stage one in this match but it would be danny chase picking up the victory it would be dda who knocked um danny chase out of the ring as danny chase was wrapping a chain around his hand probably to clock dda um around the head to get the dirty victory the cheap shot victory and uh, dda took him out of the ring it would then be a race to get back in the ring although danny chase was just staying out of the ring um to get the count out victory and that's what he would get eventually or count out victory for dda so he would keep the championship it would be DDA who would break the count. Danny Chase would hit him with a cheap shot. And uh, yeah, it would be DDA who would be laid out on the floor outside the ring for the 10 count. Danny Chase wins the match and keeps his championship. I see this happening, this match uh, happening again in the near future as DDA has kind of been. Um, so we say screwed out of the championship a couple of times since Dan, uh, since Danny Chase has become champion. I know Zena would not agree with that, but let's face it, he's a dirty, dirty heel, and he's hitting a lot of cheap shots um, in the way he's entertaining people in the ring. And that's the that's enough of plugging the channel until later on of course uh, but your winner would be Danny Chase and he keeps the Kings of Flight Championship around his absolute legendary waist so the next match is a tag team match and it is for the Hope Wrestling Tag Team Championships it is nothing to prove it is Elijah and Mazinga 
LK Mazinga or Mexinger as this is corrected to LK Mazinga and Elijah who are the representatives of nothing to prove it would be Sugar Duncan and a mystery partner going for the tag team championships in this match um, the first tag team match I would say match of the night this is very close in fact I would put them on level par and we've still got a Kip Sabian match to get um, but yeah Sugar Duncan would introduce his tag team partner it would be Magic Mark coming out of the curtain everyone's like hmm uh, hit the music don't know who it is Magic Mark appears hey we all remember Magic Mark from commentary and how well he did in the um, in the show in November it was really really good against uh, who is now the in NXT UK it's uh, Ligero uh, he would go against in that show but it's not Magic Mark he says that he has he has signed a new client he's confident that with his help he will pick up his first gold on Hope Wrestling. Um, so, who is that mystery tag team partner and new client of Magic Mark? It would be none other than Jack Cave. Jackie Cave. Jackie Cave. Friend of the show, Jackie Cave, uh, was one of the first pre orders that I've ever made for a t shirt. Was Jack Cave's t-shirt? Ain't it hard keeping it this hardcore? And for once, we didn't get a hardcore match. It was another. It was another really good comedy match. Really, really entertaining match, and probably what would be the moment of the night, the feel-good moment of the night. Very reminiscent of WrestleMania when Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins picked up the Raw Tag Team Championships ending his losing streak Kurt Hawkins we thought it had happened here there was some dissent with Jack Cave and Sugar Dunkerton some miscommunications but they would come out as victors um, incidentally the match finished as uh, Jack Cave was going for a splash in the corner on LK Mazinga. Mazinga would then pull the referee in between them. The referee would go down. Magic Mark would go and fetch a new referee. He would count three after the finish. But the senior referee called it off. The, the champs are celebrating new champs. The pop we got in Mansfield was enough to rival anything that I've heard from the Mansfield crowd before and I've been to a lot of shows there it was fantastic senior referee JB calls the match off no championship change he DQs the team of Sugar Dunkerton and Jack Cave why? LK Mazinga pulled you in front of them at least have the disqualification on the other side they keep the belts but Jack Cave still gets his win wouldn't feel like a victory but it would still work anyway um, after a lot of debate and um, very disappointed crowd in Mansfield kind of deflated on this note uh, like I say the referee calls it in favour of nothing to prove who are still your tag team champions in Hope Wrestling fantastic match bit of a weird finish but brilliant brilliant match I look forward to seeing this again the tag team of Sugar Dumpton and Jack Cave are fantastic two of my favourite favourite wrestlers in Hope Wrestling and I hope to see them again as a tag team and with Magic Mark in their corner we can only see good things for the team of Sugar Dunkerton and Jackie Cave and so your next match features
the former Hope fan favourite in Kyle Kingsley. He's had a change of attitude in recent months, saying that the crowd in Hope Wrestling does not appreciate what he has given them. He's having a bit of a, bit of a rethink on his character. He plays really good heel, so well done to Kingsley for that. And he's going against Brad Slayer. World of Sport, Brad Slayer. Um, really good to see. Big names at Hope Wrestling. Really, really good match as well. Played out a really good story. Uh, of course, Kingsley was interacting with the crowd as he usually do. He's a bit more vocal these days as he was coming out to the ring. It was Neil, the sound guy, who played the wrong music for him. He played his old music and everybody was clapping and he said no, cut it off and came out to the ring to no music. The ultimate in heelness to come out no music. Brilliant. Our truth did it, worked really well for him and a lot of other people have done it as well. Just cut the music. Just don't come out to music at all. Makes it ultimate heel. Um, anyway, a really good back and forth contest. Kingsley hitting several backbreakers on Brad Slayer. It would be Brad Slayer who would pick up the victory in this match. A false finish. Referee JB counting to two. Carl Kingsley's shoulders looked like they were down to me. Um, but he said no, the shoulder was up. So, mm. but... It would be Brad Slayer who would pick up the victory after hitting a sunset bomb from the top rope on Carl Kingsley as Carl Kingsley was going to unfamiliar territory by climbing up that turnbuckle to hit a big move, no doubt, hoping that that would finish Brad Slayer off. It did not. It backfired on him and Brad Slayer would be your winner in this match. Uh, after the match, Carl Kingsley would slide straight out of the ring and walk straight out of the arena in disgust at his loss. Well, Brad Slayer would stand victorious in the ring, uh, to, and he picked up the victory over Kyle Kingsley, former um, number one contender to the Hope Wrestling Championship. It was around about that time when he had that match and lost. Uh, that he had a change of attitude in Hope Wrestling. Uh, but yeah, he's the loser. Brad Slayer is your winner. And we're moving on now to, I believe it is the main event of the evening. And your main event would feature Super Bad Kip Savian. Sabian? Sabian! I'm going to get this right. It is the last time we'll see Kip Sabian in a Hope ring at Mansfield, Town. I was there for his debut at the Kings of Flight tournament. I believe that might have been 2017. Could be wrong. I think it was 2017. Um... Yeah, I was there. We watched as Kip Sabian picked off every single opponent that he went against and won that championship for the very first time in his debut in Hope Wrestling. Very impressive Kip Sabian was in that tournament and hopefully the Kings of Flight tournament is, has been said that it's coming back this year so we'll hopefully get some tickets for that as long as it's not when I'm on holiday which yeah just my luck that it would be anyway Kip Sabian would have his last match after having a bit of a chat to the Mansfield crowd saying and and Dale uh, getting the microphone and saying uh, that he's one of his best friends and uh, he's every bit the superstar that he has been described as as the reason that he's going off to America to work for AEW. He's going against one of the other people that's been there from the start. Great wrestler, great character, knows his wrestling really, really well. And 
uh, runs the Sacrifice Pro shows, incidentally, in Hustle Malone, the LED Nightmare. Forgot his mask today. Uh, there was a bit of shenanigans. Uh, forgot his mask in this match uh, for his entrance. A few shenanigans as uh, Kip Sabian would steal the um, eye patch of Hustle Malone and make pirate noises towards the beginning of the match. Incidentally, the crowd was had worked themselves so much into a stupor from the last couple of matches. They were a bit quiet in this one. It was getting very warm. It was getting quite late at this point, so we'll forgive them for that. Trying to get everyone going. There was a few chants, a few claps and everything, and it really did take away from what was a fantastic match. Of course, Kip Sabian is always going to put on a fantastic masterclass of wrestling and going against Hustle Malone in that ring, without doubt, one of, the, one of the matches of the night didn't quite come close to the two tag team matches, unfortunately, but it is the last time we would see Kip Sabian and he goes out on a win. Quite a convincing win as well, considering these are two of the best Hope Wrestling has to offer to former Hope Wrestling champions. Um, and yeah, just really sort of, it was bittersweet to see the finish uh, the way it did. Didn't want Hustle Malone to lose. Didn't want Kip Sabian to lose, didn't want anybody to lose in this match for like both guys. Uh, but someone did have to lose and it would be Kip Sabian who would pick up the victory with an impressive looking burning hammer and he absolutely nails every single move that he does, um, does Kip Sabian. And uh, like I say, convincing victory over Hustle Malone. Hand-picked opponent, so I understand from Kip Sabian very much. A very good choice from Mr. Superbad himself. Um, anyway, uh, that is that is your lot for Hope Evolution number 84. Uh, it took place in Mansfield Forest Town on the 19th of April 2019. Now I'm going to go and uh, do a sign off. But great, great night overall. Lots of good comments on Facebook for this show. So get down to, if you're in Leicester, go and see the Leicester show. They've got a show, called, they've got a freak show. They're bringing that back in Leicester in the nightclub uh, that they had for the venue when the um, working, men, men, working men's club uh, wasn't available. So they've got another show going off in there. And uh, got one in Leicester, I think, next week. They've got future show going off tomorrow as I'm recording this, so it won't go up. This video won't go up before then. Um, so future shows coming up. They've got one of those next week on the 27th. We're going to uh, Bridlington with the hashtag Hope Army on a bus trip to Bridlington for the day. Um, so yeah, plenty of Hope wrestling around. Get yourself on Hope. Dot hope wrestling dot co dot uk to find out all of the shows that you can go to and support hope wrestling very much appreciated if you do come and bring the atmosphere come and bring the chants bring your own signs if you want to it's all appreciated just come and show your respect show your support for the boys and the girls the lads the ladies gentlemen ladies and gentlemen whatever you want to call them just the wrestlers in general because they put on they, they work really hard to put on a really good show that's everyone in the back the people on the merch stand joe and michelle on the merch even the wrestlers chip in we had shacks selling cakes yesterday that's how much independent wrestling means to these people and how much it means to us here at Cheap Shot Entertainment. So if you ever see us at a show, come over and say hi. Um, I don't charge for photographs or 
autographs, not that you'd want them, but uh, you know, we can do a bit of a shout out for you on video, or you know, if you're a fan, just come and tell us. We love hearing from you. We've had a couple of people do that already, and it always makes me smile and makes me think, oh, wow, you know, people are actually watching this. Um, so, yeah, do all that, and I'm going to go and sign off now because I'm rambling a little bit. Right, it's now time to sign off because my camera is running out of battery once again. You can join us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. This has been your video, your take through, me taking you through everything that happened at Evolution 84. See you on the Kip side. You are the Cheap Shot Nation, and I have been your host, Luke. You can hit a Kip Sabian size super pad on that subscription button and a burning hammer on that notification bell to know when we upload new content to the channel. Like I say, if you want to join us on social media, leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you want us to do videos of. We can do uh, wrestling films. We can do uh, old school reviews. I've got a new logo coming out for the old school reviews, so I'd like to bring that out for those. Um, Anything you'd like us to do, within reason, of course. Um, we'll definitely have a look at trying to do it in the busy schedule that we have here at Cheap Shot Entertainment. Although, like I say, it's going to be a lot, at least another month before another WWE pay-per-view, so we've got to fill in the space somehow. We've got a wrestle crate coming, and we've got a couple of independent shows to go to as well. So that will be fun, fun, fun. But I haven't got a T-bird, so my daddy can't take it away. You get that reference? I'm so old. <laughs> anyway, you have been the Cheap Shot Nation. I've been your host, Luke. This has been Wrestling Friends Review for Cheap Shot Entertainment. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.